Hey Leah, um, I got you covered, girl. Um, this is Ashley from the Art Factory. So let's do a little quick demo on how to do unicorn hair. So first off, I've got this Superstar cake and I'm just using a round brush. This is one of our Art Factory Studio brushes. And this is the color Minty. So this is how um, you can draw hair with just a regular round paintbrush. So I'm gonna start over here on this one. And for our first bit of hair, you want the hair to kind of be almost like a swirl. So it comes from the ear over the horn, following the line of the forehead. And then you can also add an extra little piece there. The next ones you're gonna do are just gonna kind of come over and down. And they're just gonna follow the neck. And then as you get lower, you're gonna to wanna to cover up this area so you can make them swirl. Just like this. There we go. All right. How's that? That looks pretty good, right? So then another way to do it is to grab a split cake. This is a uh, Diamond Effect split cake, and I'm gonna grab one of our Art Factory uh, three-quarter angle brushes. And I'm gonna grab a couple colors. So let's just grab like pink and orange. And for this style, all you're gonna do is you're gonna start right here at the ear. And this part right here, this part of the hair on their forehead is called the forelock, which makes sense, right? Cause it's on their forehead. So we're just gonna do a quick swoosh. And then the same thing, we're gonna come over here behind the ear, start at the back of the neck and come down. Ta-da! There we go, that hair is done. So then another way to do it, since there are so many wonderful ways, is to grab a sponge, and this is just a high density sponge that we have here. I'm gonna grab just a little bit of color from the split cake I was just holding. And then we're just going to dab a little color on here and then dab a little here along this side. And then for sponge work, I like to come over the edge of the bottom of the neck and then a little bit past it on this side. Obviously you can do that part with brushes as well, but when I'm in a hurry, I just don't have time for that. So now I'm gonna grab some, this is just fusion black. And for outlining your hair to give it some definition, I'm gonna use a number four round and I'm just gonna quickly follow the lines. So when I come back for the bottom, I'm gonna add texture by scalloping that. So whoop, whoop, there we go. We're just following the lines. Nothing. Nothing fancy. This is this is line work unicorns. These aren't uh, things that I would do to like impress anyone. They're just for really fun, quick designs for when you have a million kids in line. Boop, 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 boop. And this is called a scallop when you go down one side. There you go. And let's do this last one. Now this one's a little different because we sponged it on, right? So now we have to, instead of following our lines, we're gonna create the lines. Here we go. And again, we're gonna follow that same shape. There we go, just creating the hair. It wants to fall over the neck. So come up and fall over the back of the neck. There we go. And then from the other side, of the neck. I'm just adding that little bit of hair on the other side of the neck as if they, this unicorn has so much hair that it has to drape over the other side quickly. Outlining the head. There we go. This one's kind of like a that's hair so long you can't even see its face. There we go. 
Cute. How cute is that? Does that help? I hope that helps. As you can see, the hair is all going in the same direction. Um, over the back of the neck and down the shape of the neck. So over and down. And then for the forelock, you want to go out and over. Out and over. So I hope that helps you. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.